Garage Boys here once again. So we were working on a 2007 Volvo S40. It's a 2.4. Issue that we're having is that, let me actually show you the shocks on this side. I'm not sure you can hear that. It's making a noise every time we take any single bump, any little wrinkle on the road will make that little noise. It's very annoying. It's the rear passenger shock. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it. We already purchased it. Part was $55 at XL Parts. So first thing we're gonna do is take off the tire. Okay guys, so just loosen up the lug nuts a little bit. And now we're gonna jack up the car. If you use the original jack, make sure you put it where it goes, which is right here in this little lip. You're gonna put the trim in here and just jack up the car. And once you jack it up, then you can uh, take out the tire and we'll go from there. Now that the tire is off, make sure you put it underneath the car just for safety. Um, if you have a tower, you can also put that. Make sure your handbrake is up. Just make sure the car doesn't fall, just play it safe. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come up here and remove those two bolts right there. They are size 10, which is gonna be this one and this one, they're size 10. And the setup that I have gonna be the long ratchet with an extension and a long size 10 socket. So I'm gonna take those off. And afterwards, we're gonna work on this one back there. Uh, but first, let me take this two off and we go from there. All right, we'll remove those two bolts up there. Now it's loose. Now we're gonna come down here and remove this one. This is a size 15. Um, there's a lot of space. You can work with it uh, really easy. The only problem is it's gonna be a bit hard. So you're gonna have to use a lot of strength. Make sure you don't drop the jack whenever you try and loosen that up. You can put some WD-40 to help you before. Um, but just, um, you can use a, a rod or a pipe, put it on the uh, ratchet to help you decrease the strength. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, but just make sure you don't do a lot of strength that will push the car and drop the jack. Also, just don't, don't forget to have your tire underneath the car just for safety. So I'm gonna remove that and we'll go from okay, there. Guys, so we took it off, very simple. Took off that bolt, it came out right out. Uh, actually, it was missing the knot up here and that's why I was making all that noise. Uh, I guess somehow it fell throughout the, day, throughout the road or whatever. So that's fine, we're gonna go ahead and replace it anyway. See, it was just 55 bucks. Just take this part out, just like this. That's the old one. You're gonna get the new one. Put this in, very simple. And you're gonna get the size 11 knot that comes with the new one and just insert it. Whenever you tighten this up, make sure you hold this. It's a size 11 and let's see. Make sure you hold it because it's gonna spin with, with, with the turn. So you gotta hold the top part that it won't spin just like this. There you go. Let's make it tight. See how everything turns? So you gotta make sure you get to a point where it's tight. Right now it's tight, but you can have somebody hold this part and you hold this part. You can see as I turn, the bottom part, bottom part spins. So somebody has to hold this, you hold this, and turn this, and that's it. Put it back on. Hey, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. It helps us. Also check our other Volvo fixes and all other, other fixes and uh, playlists in our, in our channel. Uh, and just give us a like. Thank you very much for watching, man. Take care. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry, one last thing. Um, trying to put back the, the new shock, we had a hard time because I guess the distance now is a little bit off. So what you can do, what I did, which is very easy, just put something here. In this case, I put another jack, but just put something to hold this up, something of this size. You can put on a two by four or whatever, and then lower your jack a little bit. Just lower your jack a little bit, enough to make this whole thing go up. Right now it's up. So right now I put the shock, it went in. But just make sure you put something here, lower your jack, quarter of an inch or whatever, and the whole car will come down, but this will stay in place, giving you the gap you need here so you can put the size 15 bolt in the back. Very simple, just a quick thing, and you're good to go. That will save you a lot of stress because I've been through it. But again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. I hope this helped. Take care.